The last major caldera forming eruption of the Yellowstone volcano occurred about 640,000 years ago. The most recent volcanic activity, consisting of lava flows, ended about 70,000 years ago. This volcano is not too late to erupt, but it is still an active volcano, with large magma chambers deep below the surface and a nest of hydrothermal features. The last time Yellowstone produced a major super eruption, it covered the western US, southern Canada, and northern Mexico in ash. If it erupts now, the United States Geological Survey, USGS, says the effects will be global, with ash fall over years to decades and climate change. Montana, Idaho and Wyoming will be affected by searing hot pyroclastic flows. What can be done to prevent an eruption? Michael Poland, the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory has considered this question in this week's Caldera Chronicles, a weekly column written by scientists working at the site. Poland says people often ask if you can drill into Yellowstone to relieve pressure on underground structures to help prevent eruptions. He said magma reservoirs are much more complicated than just a huge cavern of molten magma. Instead of large balls of molten magma, they are a mushy mixture of rock, melt, crystal, and various liquids and gases, with poor interconnectivity and often no sharp boundaries between the reservoir and the surrounding rock, he said. Poland explains Yellowstone has two magma chambers, one between 3 and 10 miles below the surface, and another between 12.5 and 31 miles underground. These reservoirs are mostly solid, with only between 2 and 15 percent molten lava. The pressure in a system of this type is unlike that of air in a balloon, and cannot be easily removed by drilling one hole, or even a hundred holes, into a complex structure, he wrote. In magmatic systems, pressure accumulates. As magma and related fluids accumulate. It was as if the balloon was mostly filled with solid cement, with some poorly connected areas that were wet and gassy. Punching a balloon will not cause the cement to dissipate, nor will it reach all of the wet, poorly connected parts of the system. In addition, boreholes intended to tap gas in the magma reservoir will be covered in solid magma like candy bar without continuous intervention. Poland also says you can't cool a magma reservoir by pumping water into it. He said that while NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory found it could be cooled with enough water for thousands of years, their calculations ignored the Yellowstone hotspot, which triggers volcanism at the site. Cooling a body of magma by pumping water below the surface would be like trying to cool a pot of boiling water by continuously adding cold water droplets, but leaving the stove on, he said. So you can't prevent an eruption by drilling or injecting water into a volcano, but you can trigger an eruption with a nuclear bomb.